Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports. And it's been a while since I've come to you with a podcast. But this week, we've had a lot of big-time wrestling news. You know, I've said many times before that I don't like talking about rumors uh, and speculation when it comes to pro wrestling. Because, uh, Because quite frankly... I mean, other than fake news in the political world, I feel like pro wrestling news is like the leader in fake news. Uh, There's really not a lot of reliable sources and not a lot of credible people. There's people that have websites that think they're journalists, but they have no education in journalism. So whatever. Um. That being the case, I would be a fool if I didn't report on these rumors because, number one, they're very, very big rumors, and number two, uh, they're starting to gain a lot of momentum, and they're getting very hard to ignore. Uh, multiple reports and Rumors from the dirt sheets are saying that CM Punk and Brian Danielson are on their way to AEW. And I have to tell you, uh, that's huge. Um, I don't want to compare what happened in 1996, but for me, uh, Brian and Punk going to AEW is, you know, this generation's version of Hall and Nash going to WCW. Now, I'm not saying they're the same thing, because they're not, uh, because we all know that the Outsiders, along with Hulk Hogan, uh, who eventually became the NWO, they changed the landscape of professional wrestling forever. The, the What those three did changed the history of the business forever. Um, now, you have to ask yourself, can CM Punk and Daniel, or see, I keep wanting to say Daniel Bryan because it's been ingrained in my head for so long. It's Bryan Danielson. It's the American Dragon. It is the guy that you saw in Ring of Honor and pro wrestling gorilla, and, you know, wrestled all over the world before he became Daniel Bryan in WWE. Um, CM Punk, on the other hand, he has not wrestled in seven and a half years. And there's still a good portion of the pro wrestling audience that wants to see him return. Uh, CM Punk was very, very passionate about pro wrestling, uh, is a great talker in the ring, had some very, very great matches uh, during his time uh, in WWE and before WWE. And I got to tell you, um, I don't necessarily blame them for wanting to go elsewhere. You know, right now, it seems like there is a lot of toxicity among AEW fans and WWE fans. Personally, I don't really care because I watch, I mean, I watch everything. I watch, you know, NXT. I watch Impact Wrestling. I watch SmackDown. I watch AEW. I watch Ring of Honor and New Japan when I have time. So... I don't care about who goes where and what promotion everyone thinks is better. Don't really care. But if Brian and Punk can make AEW um, a better place and can get them to another level for another alternative, I'm all for it. Um, They are both household names when it comes to this generation and this era of wrestling. And people will say, well, you know, 
Punk is 40, you know, in his 40s now, and Brian's in his 40s. Well, you know what? So is AJ Styles. You know, so is uh, Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley is 45 years old, and you would never, ever know it by the way he works in the ring. John Cena in his 40s. Cesaro just turned 40. Damian Priest approaching 40. Um, so this whole 40 thing needs to be dropped because age is just a number. And I feel like wrestlers today are keeping themselves in better shape than they ever did. Um, but anyways, back back to Punk and Brian. Um, there are so many dream matches and possibilities with those two. I mean, you have, you know, Kenny Omega, Malachi Black, uh, Adam Page, uh, Miro. You have the Young Bucks. You have Cody Rhodes. You have Dustin Rhodes. Um, you have Chris Jericho. You have MJF. You have The Revival. You have Proud and Powerful, you know, the team of Ortiz and Santana. You have Sammy Guevara. Oh, and not to mention, AEW is also working with New Japan, Impact Wrestling, and NWA. And AAA is starting to get involved, too. So that opens another door of a lot of big possibilities. These are matches you wouldn't be able to see in WWE because, unfortunately, WWE does not have a partnership with any other promotion. So, um, for me, I would love to see the CM Punk versus Will Ospreay match. That's been talked about. I would love to see CM Punk versus Brian Danielson again uh, one more time for a go-around. Um, you know, there, there's just so many possibilities. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't a big fan of the AEW thing at first. Um, wasn't on board with it. Didn't really care for some of their booking decisions and concepts. Um, but if they can get all these major players and use them in the right, you know, put them in the right places and take them in the right direction, then I hate to say it, I'm on board with it. Um, you know, I just, uh, I think it's a huge deal. And like I said, I don't like getting excited about rumors and speculation. I don't like talking about it. But like I said, I'd have to, I'd be a fool not to talk about it. And so I really think that if these two show up, the landscape, the direction, and the implications of where the pro wrestling business is going is going to change significantly again. And, you know, I, I don't care. You know, people are saying, well, AEW is just getting all these washed up WWE stars. Well, I mean, people thought that Hogan, Savage, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Big Boss Man, Kurt Henning, uh, everyone thought that those guys were washed up. And look at what they ended up doing. They ran neck and neck with WWE for a good three to four years. But the problem is, is they, you know, WCW was very mismanaged in the end. And if AEW can get their acts together in terms of booking and storytelling and have make, have things make sense, boy, they could, they could be a powerhouse. I truly believe that they could be a powerhouse that competed with WWE like WCW did. So uh, that's my take on it. Um, there's just a lot of different scenarios and moving pieces to this thing. So many different opportunities that could happen. Um, 
like I said, right now it's all rumors and speculation. Um, I don't, I don't talk about these types of things until I see it on my TV. Um, so for me to talk about it, uh, something different for me. Um, but yeah, we'll see where it goes. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna like start singing the praises of AEW until I see CM Punk and Brian Danielson on my television. So, uh, with that being said, it's all for me about this topic for the day. Hope you're all doing well, enjoying summer, and staying healthy out there. Uh, be sure to check out HollywoodsWorldOfSports.com, as well as you know I'm on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Reddit, YouTube. Obviously, I'm on it all. So uh, be sure to check all my stuff out. Um, as always. My name is Hollywood Joe Williamson, and controversy doesn't come without criticism.